Hi everyone, in today's percussion lesson, we're going to go over how to set up your bell kit and how to show the proper posture when playing. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have all of the parts we need. We need our keyboard from our bell kit as well as our stand. The next thing we're going to do is loosen the stand. We're going to have the wing nut on the bottom. We're going to turn it to the left so that these three legs loosen up and we're going to extend them to be about halfway down the shaft. Now it's important not to go all the way down because this is not the most stable position. The most stable position is about halfway down the shaft and then we are going to take the wing nut and re-tighten it, remembering lefty loosey, righty tighty. After we have our stand all set up, it's time to place our keyboard onto the stand. On the bottom of your keyboard you may have a bunch of different shapes. On this keyboard, we have almost a figure eight at the bottom, and you'll notice a figure eight, same shape, on top of the stand. So I'm going to line those two up, being careful not to drop it. Have some trouble, there you go. And I'm going to twist it to lock it in. Now there's a black wing nut underneath this little spot. This is what we use to secure the bell kit to the stand. So, place this back on here, making sure that it lines up. It's spun around on me. Twist it into place, tighten it, and now we are all set to go. We're going to adjust the bell kit by lifting it up. There's another, bell, another wing nut right on the top of the stand. And you're gonna lift it up until it is about even with your belly button. Now this bell kit is a little bit too short for me, so I can't demonstrate that right now. But you wanna make sure it's about even with your belly button. As I mentioned, we want the bell kit to be even with our belly button. So in order to demonstrate that as best as possible, I'm gonna be kneeling for this part of the video. But we always play the bells standing up. All right, to ensure proper posture, we wanna make sure that our arms are nice and relaxed. We don't want them straight like a soldier, and we don't want them out to the side. We want them just hanging nice and relaxed, almost like they can blow in the wind. Next, we wanna check that we are not slouching our shoulders. If we slouch our shoulders forward, we're actually putting strain on our back, and that can give us problems later in life. We wanna make sure that our feet are shoulder width apart. Right now, I'm kneeling, so my knees are about a shoulder width apart, and this ensures that we are very balanced. Believe it or not, it's very easy to get unbalanced when playing the bells, especially when you have to move from this part of the keyboard up to this part of the keyboard. It involves some twisting motions, and if you're not prepared, you might fall over. So this is the end of proper posture on the bells. In the next couple videos, we'll talk about mallet grips and how to actually hold the mallets. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys a basic way to stand at the bell. All right, back in the band room to finish up this video, we're gonna go over the answers on our fill-in sheet for today's video on setting up our bell kit and proper posture. Number one, first, take out the two pieces you will need, the keyboard and the stand. As we're going through these, see if you guys can grab the answers before I write them in. Next, loosen the, that's gonna be our wing nut. That's what we call those little metal pieces, or sometimes plastic, that help us adjust everything. Wing nut. On the bottom of the stand, then widen the legs about halfway, tighten the wing nut to lock the stand in position. Next, place the keyboard on top of the stand. Your specific bell kit will have a unique way of attaching the keyboard, but make sure to check that it is stable and not wobbling. Nothing to fill in there, but we wanna make sure that our bell kit is very stable or else it might fall. Finally, loosen the second wing nut on the stand to raise up the keyboard. Your keyboard should be up to your, remember that's gonna be at our belly button. Alright, going on to the proper posture section. You should be standing up straight with your arms relaxed. Don't slouch your, it's going to be shoulders. Roll them back to keep them straight. Keep your back nice and tall. And then keep your feet shoulder width apart. 
that's gonna be it for that. Let's do a rolling scroll. Keyboard in the stand, loosening the wing nut. Keyboard up to our belly button. Arms are relaxed and our shoulders are not slouched. That's gonna be all for today's video. Hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you at lessons.